So this video can bring some smile on Windows users because Microsoft silently changed the Windows 11 requirement in bang days. You already know Microsoft released Windows 11 version 22H2 and they also changed the requirement of Windows 11 22H2. Not much, but yeah, some people will be very happy about it. And I will also tell you one good news at the end of the video. So watch the video completely so you will understand what I am trying to tell you in this video. So basically Microsoft updated the processors requirement on their official website as you can see already open this website. Here you can see Windows 11 22H2 supported Intel and AMD processors. So maybe suddenly your Windows 10 system or Windows 11 system can support Windows 11 officially because some people already running Windows 11 and unsupported hardware. After this video, you can check if your system is now supported or not. So basically you need to go to these two links. If you have AMD processors, you need to visit these links. So basically you need to go to this website and press Ctrl plus F to find your processor name. Also, now you understand what I am trying to say. Right, so they just lower down the requirement of processors. Maybe Microsoft already tested these processors and they found it like Windows 11 running very smoothly on these processors. So they just update their requirement, right? So you can find your processor here if your processor is supported and you have 4GB RAM, good hard drive or SSD, you are now free to upgrade. Maybe you will not get here your processor. So that's not a problem, okay? So you can also run Windows 11 on supported hardware without any kind of problem. In starting of the video, I told you I will give you one bonus news. So what will happen after 2025? Because after that Windows 10 is going to expire, Microsoft will not support Windows 10. Will you get Windows 11 on your supported hardware automatically or not? So basically the thing is Microsoft is going to change the requirement after 2025, right? So many systems don't support Windows 11 and after that they are going to update their processor and TPM required. Okay, so, so this is the thing just want to tell you guys so let me know who gets supported hardware in this list which earlier was not supported don't forget to subscribe like and share it on social media thanks for watching